when you have a brand, and, and we're, this is going to be important, I had a question about this before the class. Um, these are four things that you need to think about. Keywords are king. Uh, that's how Google sees stuff, is through keywords. Uh, and so, um, giving the, we'll kind of use the PayPal example. Online payment. Uh, or, yeah, I believe it was online payment. Was that right? Yeah. We'll just say online payment. So, uh, traffic, you want to know, like, a lot of times people choose keywords uh, for the website that no one searches for. Uh, it's, it's, it's a statistic that about, what is it, a third, a quarter to a third of all requests to, a, uh, to Google are completely original. They've never been searched for before. And so, um, a lot of people will choose keywords for their site that are not generating traffic, that no one is searching for. And so um, we'll kind of talk, we'll go through these and then we'll talk about how to fix it and, and find out. Uh, competition, how hard is it to rank for? Online payment is probably, uh, probably gets a lot of traffic. A lot of people search for online payment. And, uh, the, but the competition is probably ridiculous. Uh, there are so many resources out there. So anything that's going to be searched for uh, often is going to, there's generally going to be a lot of competition. Uh, and so how hard will it be to rank for that particular keyword? You want to measure that. Uh, the commerciality. And I may have, yeah, well, well what you want to do is you want to check uh, the commerciality of that keyword. Uh, is someone searching for baby blankets? Uh, they may not be willing, looking to buy a baby blanket and maybe your site sells baby blankets. Uh, but if you're talking about baby gifts, the commerciality, the, the chances of that person buying using that keyword is much, much higher. Does that make sense? So if you're looking to sell something, uh, you want to choose a keyword that is going to have a high commercial value. And then relevance. Is, is the keyword actually relevant to what you do? So uh, if it's not really relevant to what's on your page, Google actually goes through and they, they, like I showed you there, they just read through your pages and they can actually pull their own keywords out. Uh, they don't necessarily rely on you to tell them what your site's about. And so uh, they'll look at your meta tag keywords and they'll kind of estimate uh, if, you know, if you're being truthful in your meta tag keyword descriptions and everything. And, and so they, they factor that in as well. So uh, yeah. Uh, a great key tool for this is, is a, one that I use is called Market Samurai. Uh, it goes through and, and you can actually do keyword research uh, and, and research keyword terms. Uh, and it'll show you like how much traffic they get per day, um, what, how much competition there is, the actual commercial value. Microsoft has a, and I'll post these links on my, on my website. Um, <coughs> but Microsoft actually has a tool that, that measures the commercial value of a, a keyword phrase. So it'll say a person searching for this is 96% likely to buy. What's your website again? Uh, my website is sethjenks.com. So, S-E-T-H-J-E-N-K-S. Uh, -E okay. All right. And then um, I'm going to skip this one. And then we're just going to talk about a little more about search engines and social media. Why are they? Why are search engines? Uh, why do they like social media? I've got I've got Ivan with the Twitter bird there on his shoulder, um, and uh, social media sites have amazing amounts of traffic. If you look at Alexa.com and uh, Alexa, what they do is they actually compare sites. They can actually measure traffic to sites. Um, <coughs> you can actually uh, pit Google against uh, Facebook and see how many more people are act more people. Uh, use Facebook daily than they do Google, which is incredible. Um, Google, are, you know, Facebook's a, a, an incredible, incredible opportunity. Um, and Twitter will be as well. Um, so, yeah, there are amazing amounts of traffic. Uh, we kind of talked about how all this content being generated attracts Google's robots. And y you can actually um, use a lot of these sites. For example, uh, Dig has a great... Uh, Dig has great page rank. If you submit an article to Dig, uh, generally it will rank number one. If it's not super competitive term, um, if yeah, and if you so, 
you can submit to a lot of these sites. There's a, a great website to help you do that, to, to submit articles and blog posts to sites. It's called socialmarker.com. It's an excellent utility. You can actually uh, enter in your, your information and submit it uh, to uh, socialmarker.com. And you can actually uh, use, it's a list of all these social media sites and then it will submit to all, all the websites at once. Uh, and so, <clears throat> yeah, so like, and that kind of goes with this, like, the most social media websites are very trusted, uh, and if you submit to them, your articles will generally come up first automatically for a page rank, or for, huh, for a term that is searched, because of their high page rank. And then, uh, something that else we want to talk about uh, is, um, you have the opportunity, for example, uh, if you look for Seth Jenks, if you type in Seth, Google Seth Jenks, um, most, there's only, I think there's three out of the top ten results aren't really me. There's a kid in, in East Bay, California, and there's a kid who plays football somewhere. Um, but most, you'll see that most of those um, are social media sites. And so you can leverage social media sites. There's a great tool called Namecheck, namechk.com. And, uh, and you can use that. Uh, to register personas. So you register your name and you can actually control by registering your name into a whole bunch of social, like becoming a member of like Facebook, MySpace, all these sites. You can actually control what's being said about your company, uh, what's being said about you, what's being said about your book. So uh, you can actually generate your own content that will be easily indexed uh, by Google and, and placed on the top pages of Google. Uh, so that's a that's a strategy that you really should use is like creating going to these sites, creating content, and uh, using social media to help you rank in the search engines. So you can dominate the first page of of a search engine uh, results page by using social media. Yes. Pardon? Do they charge you for doing? For doing? No, it's free. It's a free service. So. You, you go and you type in, uh, for example, you go and you type in Seth Jenks, and it will actually just go to all the sites really quickly and see whether that name's available or not. And then you can just click on the link and go and register your name if it's unavailable for that site. And that's at namecheck.com. Yeah, namechk.com. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just delicious so you can just be friend you on there and get all your bookmarks? Yeah, um, you can. Uh, uh, my name is Seth Jenks7. Uh, I also I have several delicious accounts. Uh, SEO Grow uh, is mine as well, where I talk about SEO stuff. I do a lot of SEO bookmarks there, and then I think I'm Seth Dot Jenks as well. So you're welcome to, to follow me on Delicious. Yeah, I I'm on Delicious and Stumble Upon and Facebook and Twitter, uh, and it's usually all Seth Jenks, all one word. Um, yeah, I think we're going to end right here, and, and Gwen and I are going to kind of have a, a little question-answer session, so uh, we'll end it there.